In this video, we are going to look at the basics of finding the area enclosed by a curve and the X or Y axis. And this is for IB Math Applications and Interpretation students, the AIHL students. And this is part of Topic 5 Calculus. And this is part of the subtopic of Integral Calculus. Okay, I'm going to show you two basic examples and hopefully you can uh, take away these basic examples and apply them to maybe some more complicated questions. But the first one, I'm going to draw a curve. Let me draw a curve. I'm going to label my axis Y here, Y and X. And I'm going to draw the curve uh, Y equals 3X squared. So this is a quadratic. It'll have a nice parabolic shape that looks a little bit like this. Should come down nicely and have a curve. Okay, now I want to find the area underneath my curve from this point here. Let me get in blue. I'll go from one to, let's say, two. So if I go up to my curve at one and up to my curve from two, I want to find this area right here, the area A. Well, the formula in our formula booklet, and, and hopefully we actually have learned a little bit of this uh, finding areas before with integration, the, the area is going to be the integral of whatever our function is, which we can just say y for now, our y, which we have a function of x, and it's going to be from our lower bound, a, to our upper bound, b, and this integral is with respect to x. And what we can do is we can substitute in what our function is. We know that our area, this area up here, will be equal to the integral from one to two, and we know that y is three x squared. We want to integrate this with respect to x, and this is just a basic definite integral now. What we can do is we can integrate three x squared. This will become three x to the power of three over three, which is just going to be x cubed. Once we cancel out the threes, we will get x cubed. We have an upper bound of two and a lower bound of one. Once we substitute in our upper boundary, we will get two cubed, subtract one cubed, and we will get eight uh, minus one, which is seven. And that's what that area is up here. This area underneath our curve or enclosed by our curve here will be equal to seven units squared. And you may have already seen this type of question before. This is a little bit of revision. Uh, but in this topic, we also need to find the area enclosed by the curve and potentially the y-axis. And I'll show you a different example for that, but hopefully you will recognize that the formulas are very similar. Okay, let me draw a new curve here. I'm going to draw a curve. Let's label our, let's label our axes, y and x. Now the curve I'm going to draw, let's, cur let's draw y equals the square root of x. Now that looks something like this here, you can check this on your calculator. This is our curve right here. Okay, now this time, I don't want to find the area underneath the curve from let's say one to uh, let's say nine here. I don't want to find uh, this area. That's what we did in the first example. Instead, what I want to find is the area enclosed by our curve and the y-axis. And let's say between, between these points right here, I want to find this area that's been enclosed by my curve and the y-axis. Okay, now it's very similar. The formula to find the area enclosed by uh, a curve and the y-axis, the area is the integral from a to b of now x uh, with respect to y. Notice it's very similar here. Now it's instead of y, it's x, and the integral is going to be with respect to y. So there's a few things that we need to do uh, in order to find this integral. The first step is we need to identify what the lower boundary and the upper boundary will need to be for our integral. Now, in the first question, they gave us it was 1 and 2. They might not give it to you here, uh, but we do know that if we are given 1 and 9, we can always just substitute in 1 for x and 9 for x, and we can find the corresponding y values, which in this case, this would be 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So let me just put a little 1 in here. And the square root of 9 is 3. So that's what the up here, the upper boundary will be. But often in questions, they do actually give you this 1 and 3. 
So this one and this three, this will be our lower limit for Y and our upper limit for Y. And that will be our A and our B. So let's continue with our working down here. Our area will be the integral from one up to three. And now because it's X in our integral, we need to try and rearrange our original curve here, our original equation or function here, to get X to be the subject. And that's really important in these questions where we're finding the area enclosed by a curve and the Y axis, we need to get X to be the subject. So if I square both sides here, this is a pretty basic example, we can get Y squared is equal to X. And therefore in our integral down here, I can put what X is equal to, which is Y squared and find that integral with respect to Y. And it's as simple as that. And then from here, what we can just do is take the integral of y squared, which we know is just y cubed over three, if we're taking that integral with respect to y, and then we just substitute in our limits for y, which will be three and one. We can solve this. This will become three cubed over three minus one cubed over three, now three cubed over three is 27 over three. We will subtract one over three and therefore we will get 26 over three. And this will be the area up here. Okay, so in this very, very basic uh, example here, what I've showed you is the difference between finding areas enclosed uh, by the axes here. If we want to find the area enclosed by the X axis, we need our X limits. We want y to be a function of x, and we just find the definite integral. But we do a couple of a uh, couple of the opposite things here. If we want to find the area enclosed by the y-axis, what we need to do is find the y lower bound and upper bound. We need to find uh, x as a function of y, and then we find the integral. Uh, and all of our integrals will be in, with respect to y in this case. Okay, so what hopefully you can do is. Uh, take away the basic understanding of uh, these formulas here and the difference between them. And then you might be able to maybe approach some more difficult questions and that we can find the area enclosed by the curve and the y-axis. Okay, so good luck.